Hi right, guys, Dog Aries here with Latina. Before we start our Yum Box this time, I got something I want to offer y'all. Y'all leave a comment and hit me up on Facebook. You'll get the Dog of Aries Richard Jacobs Gen 1 sh shirts. Okay? If you're interested, go ahead and leave a comment. We'll find you on Facebook. Send it, Get a direct message going. You know, we'll mail you one out. Okay? Um... We do have uh, all sizes. We got we got like what two of each. So I mean, we got two of each left. So small, medium, large, extra large. And I think there's one double X. I don't know. I think there's one double X though. All right. So there's that. So if you want to wear a dog airy shirt or get one, you know what to do. All right. But this is a land where hips don't lie, but the sloths sure do. So Latina. Columbia says that I which apparently that. that's a song i didn't know because how I, do you not know shakira she know. is amazing she was at the super bowl oh okay she is 52 and fabulous i thought only gay people said fabulous i am very proud and happy yes i am gay. gotcha that works for me all right it is columbia you're right you're Let's right go. Uh, are you singing the song yeah gotcha okay um so we noticed that last time you're supposed to start at a certain area and then go along with it and we were just randomly picking whatever looked good and then leaving the icky nasty stuff to the end <laughs> so we're gonna actually do it the way we're supposed to now this ooh, this is gonna be good so we're going to start here with the passion fruit lollipop. Now I got to go dig out. I like, I see, our idea was so much better. Well, let me guess. It's in here, isn't it? Let's see, they start us off with the yum bag. On, huh? the, oh, uh, on the first on the one? Yeah, like. I understand why they package it the way they is did. This, is this it? Yep, that's it. We should uh, get one? Yep. Yay. Um, so, would you like to do the reading? Don't open it yet. Bon, bon, bon. Oh, trying to read it. Yeah. It is. Passion, it just says passion fruit, lollipop, juicy tropical. Uh, juicy tropical outside, bubble gum in the inside. We don't normally kick things off with lollipops. Yeah. No matter how delicious. But luckily, this isn't a lollipop. It's a bon, bon, bum. A bon, bon, bum. Okay, you see, bon bon bums are so popular in Colombia that locals refer to any and all lollipops by the name. And Colombia, uh, Colum Colombina, okay, Colombina, the manufacturer has even started selling them in the U.S. Only after they changed the American name to Bon Bon Boom. Okay. How the name is supposed to be pronounced to avoid any bum related confusion. <laughs> As, yeah. As if that wasn't enough proof, their popularity, Shakira herself confessed to keeping a few in her handbag at all times. Now, it's your turn to try the Colombian sensation, a mouth watering maracuja. Oh, passion fruit. Okay. Flavor and even looks like a real fruit. Yeah, it does. You shoved it in my face. Gotcha. Oh, can you not? You know I don't like that. You just told me to. I was being facetious. Oh. Okay. And the real fruit advice. Take your time getting the bubble gum to the bubblegum center and the philosophy extends to the whole box. Kick back, relax, savor the tasty tropical vacay for... As long as you possibly can. I don't think I'm going to like this. Why do you say that? Have you already tried it? No. Okay. But I do like mine. Ha mine has like a deformity. What do you mean? Hmm? You want to switch or something? No. Mine looks oh, like is that your bubble gum? Uh, is it? Ah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Ew. Tootsie roll, three. It's, it's not a tootsie, it's a, four. It's a, it's a, no, never mind. Five. 
And no, they're not the same thing. Fuck. It's got gum in the middle. Mm-hmm. Tootsie Pops have a Tootsie This roll. is actually really good. Yeah, it is. That's oh, it. is that what that thing is? Hmm? Is that what that thing is? What? At the center of the Tootsie Roll Pop. The Tootsie Roll? Yeah, it's a Tootsie oh. Roll. <laughs> I always thought they were just supposed to taste like Tootsie Rolls. So, it tastes like the, the fact that it's called Tootsie Pop. <laughs> Never enter your head. <laughs> no. I was a fat little kid. I saw candy. You think I read? No, I just ate it. <laughs> it's good, but it's going to take forever to eat. So, I'm going to put mine back to save it for later. I am too. So, we can move on to the next yum. But it tastes just like the Welcher's Passion Fruit. The juice. Mm -hmm. the it's actually really good. I liked it. I see where Shakira keeps it in her purse. See, so yeah, who is this Shakira? So apparently some singer. Okay, I get it. Never mind. Forget I asked. Forget I asked. I'm sorry. Shoot me now. I know what we're doing later. No, we are not. I love the video. You're going to like it. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to like that. All right, all right. You're like, you like the hips don't lie video. Well, uh, you have to listen to that one. Yes! All right. So, you're next. The Bianchi bar. Boom. Is that Bianchi? How do you pronounce that then? Oh, Here, there's just you, what you said, Bianchi. Bianchi? Bianchi? I don't know. No, Where? I was just saying, the way you said it, it just kind of sounds like, you know, when they're trying to, like, draw out the bad word to make it sound like not a bad word so the kid can cuss. Like, Bia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Like. Go. Oh, man. It is your turn. Milk chocolate nougat bar. Colombian's tastier take on the three musketeers. Ooh. Okay, cool. All right. The cacao plant has been cultivated in Colombia for 5,000 years, so locals have lots of time to perfect their chocolate. Yeah, yeah, you do. In fact, whopping 95% of Colombian's chocolate is considered fine by the International Cacao... Cacao, cacao, ah, cacao is the organization <laughs> versus ordinary. Cool. Keep that in mind if you feel the urge to compare this Colombian fade to the Three Musketeers. Sure, they're both filled with extra fluffy nougat, but we think you'll find these are very fine and very chocolatey line between the two. Alright. So I don't like the reading part. I just like the eating part. Okay. It smells like co cocoa powder. Yeah, like Nesquik. Straight up. It smells like Nesquik. I like how you're starting to smell it, too. Well, I mean, once you say it, I was like, okay, I'll smell it. It's, it smells just like Nesquik. Yeah, it does. Wow, okay. Ready? That was always my biggest thing with Three Musketeers, is it wasn't chocolatey enough. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, these are my purse, too. There you go. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Welcome. You didn't like it? Not really. It was not a fan. Too chewy. Chocolate shouldn't be chewy. I don't like Tootsie Rolls, either. Chocolate stuff should not be chewy. Actually, you eat, like, a pound of Tootsie Rolls on the Yeah, that's because of other reasons. I... Okay. Oh, go get some cream. I'm going to like this box. I like this one. It was the only thing to have to munch on. All right. It's the only thing in the house. Leave me alone. Am I reading or you reading? You're reading. Oh. Uh, it's on your side. It's, if it's on your page, you read. That's fair. That way I don't have to be like this. What, do I smell bad? No. Yes. It was a joke, babe. I love you. White <laughs> well, chocolate cookies and cream clusters. Crisp cookie bits coated with a rich white cocoa. Ooh, I bet they got good white chocolate, too. I bet it's all chocolate. <laughs> Every hero has their original their origin story. These are heroes, though? I guess so. For super... 
the company behind Columbia's famous Bianchi brand. The story starts in 1948. Back then, the company was called Superman. Oh, okay, I see. I see where they're going. And <laughs> consisted of eight people making coconut candies. Ooh, I love coconut. Great. A lot has changed in 72 years. The company gained 1,600 employees, trimmed the name to Super, and, of course, started making chocolates. Go ahead and taste these white chocolate cookies and cream clusters and discover why there's many. There are many Colombian kryptonite. Mm -hmm. I feel illiterate half the time, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Does it smell like the cookies and cream bar? Mm -hmm. See, it's just not cocoa bits and white chocolate. No, it's, it's like, like uh, I'm gonna say nougat. Yeah, it's like nougat. Nuggets. Whatever. That says nuggets. No, 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 that's why I don't like reading. <laughs> Well, I was just thinking they probably got, like, the cream part of an Oreo mixed in there because in America, the cream part is the white chocolate. So it's cookies and cream like an Oreo. No, there's cookie in there. Yeah, it's good. It's very much so. All right. I like this yum. It's like a... No, it's like little bits of cookie. Mm-hmm. Like a wafer. And then the bits. I don't like chocolate. That's good. Hmm? I haven't had a bad thing yet. The lollipop was pretty good. I just didn't like the the bar. Mm, it's too chewy. <clears throat> oh God. Do I need to read it? No, it's just I just read the first line. <laughs> Mayonnaise, potato chips. I don't really like mayonnaise. I don't like it enough to put it as a flavor of chip. But I mean, on a sandwich or a burger is pretty good. So I don't mayonnaise, know about this. So mayonnaise is a flavor. Apparently. Mm -hmm. nah, what flavor man. is water? Hmm? What flavor is water? Bland. <laughs> <laughs> That's the flavor of water. Dang, but ice cold water is so damn. I don't know. It's, just, it's it refreshing. Yeah, it does. Oh, man. All right. So, mayonnaise potato chips. The usually addictive Colombian classic, dare we say it, mm -hmm. Colombians are mayonnaise magicians. Never heard that term. Okay, I'm sorry. That, that took me back for a second. Like, all right. They've invented countless variations from the seafood ready ketchup and mayo combo known as salsa ro rosada um, to the garlic cilantro style mayo salsa de ajo de ajo um that's typically paired with fried plantains with this yum they've gone even further and combined both chip and dip creating one of the country's most popular snack flavors. Maybe it will also be one of yours now. So people are going around just dipping chips and mayonnaise. Apparently. And why do they got so many different mayonnaise? Can't they just be an aioli? Well, I get, I, get, I get that. I get that. Like aiolis, though. Be better. <clears throat> aioli sauce. I think, yeah, the garlic and cilantro style mayo. Mm -hmm. Aioli sauce is pretty much mayo and garlic. Aioli is mayo. And garlic. Not necessarily. Because you know, spice got aiolis, it's a little combination, and then the mix together is called aioli. How's it taste? I'm sour cream and an onion chip without the onion. Like a plain potato chip with a little something. Yeah. Oh, you ever dip plain potato chips in sour cream? Oh, but that's what that tastes like. <laughs> this is a good box. Oh my god. That was one of my fat kid things. Just well, did it in sour cream. That well. Not bad. But nothing to run home about either. 
like apparently it's the bee's knees to hurt this woman but honestly a ruffle potato chip that's it you it doesn't even taste like mayonnaise to me yeah okay cafe con leche toffee <clears throat> creamy colombian coffee in a super soft chew. One thing Colombian does better th than mayo is coffee. Each of the country's 560,000 Arabic coffee farms. Mm. Arab what? That's not Arabic. It's Arabica. Okay, Arabica or Bica. I, I, I can't pronounce it. Coffee farms has its own speciality. For example, beans. Uh, from warm Santander yield full dark roast, while beans from the cool volcanic soil of Narino are acidic and sweet. There's a perfect brew for everyone, even the local kids who often drink cafe con leche for dessert. Us, well, uh, us is one sentence, okay? We'll take ours in a soft, uber creamy toffee. Any day of the week. Care to join? So in Colombia, they drink coffee like we drink coffee, but they drink it as a dessert? Well, the kids do. And it's not coffee. It's coffee, uh, milk. That is milk, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means they didn't add milk to it before. Yeah, because you're not supposed to. And the darker the roast, the better the flavor. But also, counteracts the less amount of caffeine, which is really weird. But apparently, the darker the roast, the less the amount of caffeine. Even though it tastes like there's more in it. But, all right. Oh, I do coffee. Mm. Here you go. And here I go. I don't think I'm going to like this one. Huh? I don't think I'm going to like this one. It's it. like a sweet. Oh, well, I think I'm going to like it. It's, it smells like coffee and milk. Yeah. Like what it says. You ever have one of those Starbucks like Frappuccino things? Yes, I love them. That's kind of what this tastes like. A venti mocha Frappuccino. With milk and coffee. Yes, love. Okay. But it tastes like that or is it just me? Oh, cookie wafers. You look good. Yes. The taste of tropical coast in each bite. Coconut cream chocolate wafers. Coconuts are actually native to Southeast Asia and India. Did not know that. But Colombia's cocoa region is still one of the world's biggest places. I think it's going to be my favorite one so far. Yeah, me too. It's still one of the best places to taste them. Why? Spanish settlers brought, Spanish settlers brought the Asian coconut to Pacific South America and Portuguese settlers brought the Indian strain to the Caribbean. And since Cocho borders both, it flushes with both coconuts. I mm. they're both good though. Which is great news for you because now you get to taste the perfect coconut blend in this crispy, light, chocolatey wafer. Cool, not the fun part. <clears throat> Oh, it's one giant one. No. Oh. It's two. But it looks like it, it got broke. It did get broke. But it's one long one. No, love. It's two long ones on top of each other. Yeah. Let's see? Two different cookies. Yeah, normally they're like this big. Oh, I thought you were saying that... It was a giant. The whole, the whole cube. Yeah, no. Okay, we so said it's all one cookie. That's kind of what you're saying. It's uh, a big one. I like it. I do too. I just think a little, I overhyped it a little bit in my head. <laughs> so, but it's good, yeah. The little way for grandma cookies. Mm -hmm. Coconut. 
Okay. Alright. When it comes to wafers, nothing really. What was it? When is it? It was like from. It was the one before the Philippines. England. That came in the bag. You remember those? No. I know it's on our video though. We eat that. I can't fit it back in the bag. Okay. It was like a clotted cream wafer. Those are the best ones ever. All right. Fruity penguin gummies. Oh, penguin. Chululu. Penguin nils. So, okay. It's a penguin. Penguins. Be Sour foam gummies and juicy fruit Ooh. flavors. Sour, huh? Foam? Oh, I like sour. Bet you didn't think you'd find penguins in tropical adventures, but believe it or not, you can spot them in Colombia. Yes, really. The little baby ones. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. I forget the name of them, but they're tiny shit. They're like, yay big. No, no, they're about yay big. A super cute South American species known as the humo Humboldt penguin has been spotted as far north as the Nereo region. Nerano region. The bad news? Sightings is super rare. The good news, we brought you the Colombian penguins that's just as adorable, but way more juicy, fruity, and sour. So they ate a penguin Man, I think before. I, right? I think the penguins I'm thinking about are actually like in South Africa. Like in South Africa somewhere. Hmm. Maybe. I don't remember. It's been a while since I did well, I know they zoological have some geography. In like Chile. What? Chile? Oh. Uh, Chile? The yeah, country? Yeah, I got you now. Because we're so close. Okay. They did a good job. They all actually look like penguins. Yeah. And it's got like a... It's a foamy gummy. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a foamy gummy? Mm -hmm. Right now? Yep. Right now. <clears throat> you shouldn't call them sour, though. I was expecting like a warhead. Least. They're not sour at all. No, they're not. <clears throat> they're good though. It's just bacon lime chips. Ooh. That's what I was looking forward to. Tastes like gummy worm. Mm hmm. Puffed bacon chips with zingy lime. Now, yeah. Aerated. Mm hmm. Now, the region of Antigua. Back in the 50s, local farmers craved a dish to fuel the extra long work days. So, they invented bandeja pais, paris, Colombian's unofficial national dish. It's made of fried pork belly, chicharrones, and lime, plus, plus rice, beans, beef, chorizo, plantains, cornbread, avocados, and egg. That sounds good. Yes, it does. Leave off the beans, though. Yeah, no beans. No beans. <laughs> Phew. The puff bacon chips may not give you quite as much energy as the bandeja, but their lime zing will surely put some pep in your step. I'm, th I'm thinking like a bacon taki. Yep. I'm thinking of that for breakfast tomorrow. Can you make it? Yeah. I get all that. So they look like a little. I want to get a better chip. It's like a little bacon. Looks just like a bacon strip. Yeah, really. Yes, I smell everything. It's like bacon, but it's not bacon. It's like that um, that salad bacon crumbles people put on the the red one, hmm. the crunchy one. Crunchy. Bacon, bacon bit. bits. Yeah. Not bad. With lime. Yeah. The one I'm saving it. Mm-hmm. It really is. That's good, though. I like it. All right. Definitely had worse. La Nina. Hmm? Little girl. And there's hmm. a little girl on it. Oh, La Nina. Okay. I thought La Nina. It is. So, the girl? Yeah. 
No, Nina didn't. is like a little girl though. Oh, you didn't know that. It's a name brand. And it's got A, that's why it's locked. <coughs> Himalayan sea salt quinoa puffs. I don't think I'm gonna like that. Me neither, but. May, I like quinoa though, made with quinoa from the Andes Mountains. A lot of hiking went down to make this yum. You know what? I bet it did. Why don't you just take a helicopter to the top? <laughs> That's because the flowering quinoa plant grows in the slopes of the Andes Mountains in the region of Kung, word I can't pronounce, and has over 4,000 years. Generations of mountain brave and Colombians have passed down their techniques for both farming and cooking the grain and voila. Now you have the puff in your hand with little help from hikers on the other side of the world who supply the Himalayan salt seasoning. All right. Were you modeling prices right style? Oh, was right. I? I don't know. I don't know what that means. At first, yeah. Okay. I saw movement, but I didn't want to stop reading. Minions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It does. Alright. Wow. It's like a bland Cheeto. Cheese puff. That was a let down. What's, what's There's the like no flavoring on that. There's like barely any flavoring. What's the, the cereal like smacks? With the frog on it. Yeah, that's smash. Minus the sugar and a puff Cheeto. Just a bland, slightly toasted. Like Cheerios without the honey nut. I always add my own. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, God. In a puff form. Yeah, no, no, that was no bueno. Mm. All right. Oh, one. these are the last yums. Come on. Why don't you back. read them? Okay. Since they're the last ones. Okay. All right, hold on. What's the occasion? Okay, Colombian cocadas. Rich milk caramels with fresh coconut bits. Beach time in Colombia. Three questions reveal if you did uh, if you did your beach day right. One, did you bring your BFFs? Two, did you remember sunblock? Three, did you get... Cocadas. <laughs> these chewy nuggets of rich milk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these uh, chewy nuggets of rich uh, milk caramel. Okay, I was expecting chocolate there, but um, and freshly shredded coconut, our beloved beachside staple of the Caribbean coast. Even if you don't, even if you can't make it to the beach right now, these coconut caramels should put. You in the tropical mood. I mixed the bacon chip with the puff chip. It still didn't save the puff chip. That 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 that, like, that was so bland. It didn't even save it. Fuck, because it had so much lime flavoring in it. It save it. It didn't. Got serious. No, I mean, use a knife for my teeth and the other. Yeah. Figured it'd be more classy if I used the knife. Since I'm on a visio. All right. Oh my god. That shit. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Rip it. Yep. No, I got it. Oh yeah. Good job. Yeah. Okay. I like the package. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool looking. I think these are gonna be pretty good. Is yours like not flat and kind of like poofy? Yeah. No, it's like a dip. Like is that a fingerprint in mine? No, it's just a rustic. Uh, okay. Right. So you got this little thing right here. Looks like a square chicken nugget. But, oh, it's soft. Use your teeth, I had to, too. Yeah. Like, the, those things. Right. What are you doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh. See? Shut up. Mine's really hard to open. Thank you. 
I do it the other side because you made that side so like wiggly <laughs> with <laughs> trying to chew it. Ah. It's kind of cool looking. I like coconut, mm -hmm. but I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like that. It's fine. I like the texture's cool. With the flavor, man. When I swallowed, it got sour. I mean, I had a bad one. I'll try a different one. Because these are supposed to be really good. Yeah, instead of opening the only one, that's a good idea. So we're eating the same one. Okay. Mine didn't get sour. a bad flavor i don't know mm. how to feel about this yeah but i'm gonna i'm not trying to beat down the door for it either that's yeah that one wasn't sour when it went down okay i don't know what i was eating for but i finally got some of the milk caramel okay it's not that bad milk what milk caramel caramel mm -hmm. okay it's all on the same page Mm. There's a lot of stuff in here that gets stuck in my teeth. I think that's the main reason why I'm not liking it. Like that chocolate stuck in my teeth. Those little crumbles got stuck in my are stuck in my teeth. I don't like things that get stuck in my teeth. I don't like that feeling. That's why I got swoosh. There we go. I got it out. Okay. You gonna do this one? Yeah. Go for it. You know, take us home. There's only three left. Yay! White chocolate covered fruit gummies. What? Chocolate covered fruit gummies? Mm -hmm. It's either gonna be really good or really bad. Mm-hmm. Colombian's kookiest fiesta favorite. They have kooky fiesta? That's gonna be weird. Time for a fiesta. In Colombian, a girl's 15th birthday is celebrated with a fiesta de quince años or quinceanera, which are super fun. Yes, they are. The fun starts with a father. So much food, though, man. Never been to one, but one, one. Mama wanted let me have one. Oh. Uh, Wayne's wife, one of uh, her relatives had a quinceanera that we went to. There was so much food. That's the point. So much beer. So much dance. It was fun. It was. Chico tried to show off and ended up trying to do a backflip and landed right on his knees and jacked his knee up. Aww. I never had a birthday party. <clears throat> so the fun starts with a father-daughter waltz and ends with the hour loca, crazy hour, which guests wear wacky masks and blow whistles. In between, you eat plenty of snacks like these kooky white chocolate coated candy gummies Color to match the birthday girl's traditional pastel dress. Let's just say that if fun had a taste, we think it would be this. The air is escaping. That's what the sound is. Mm -hmm. It just smells like white chocolate. I was right. It's gonna be really bad. I don't know how to get with the texture. It's like a hard M&M and then it's like a cookie yeah. and a thing and then a gummy. It looks weird. Oh, no. Wait, those two should not have been mixed. No. No. Don't have that in my Kinson either. <laughs> mm -mm. Not unless we throw in it. You have to be 15 to have a Kinson that's what it means, quince. I know what 15 means. Ooh, plantains 101! Yeah! Damn it. What? Oh, the, the rest of them are both, the, the last two are plantains. Mm hmm Gotcha, okay. So it says plantains 101. Now I see that. Lime and flute, lime infused plantain chips. 
crisp plantains with a dash of succulent citrus. Looking at this packaging, you might think bananas and lemons. Ew. Fortunately, these aren't bananas. They're crispy Colombian plantains. I love it how you said it properly and then you just went back to saying it. Oh, like I can't that. keep saying it like that, man. I got a speech impediment. <laughs> Who's... <laughs> it's a plantain. Whatever. It's a plantain. Which is a species of what? Banana. Tree fruit? <laughs> Sound like a little foot. Tree stars. Tree stars. These one are tree stars, and these crisps aren't lemon flavored either. Their lemons don't really grow in Colombia, so locals use the word limon, traditionally meaning lemon, for limes. So while bananas and lemons might look yucky for you, we assure you plantains and limes are definitely yum. Yeah, plantains yeah. are actually really good. Okay. They're like a healthier alternative to a uh, potato chip. They taste like a potato chip, like the ones that they got at, mm -hmm. at Food Tiger. They're in a bag like a potato chip. Why does it taste like fish? Do you taste a little hint of fish yeah. to it? It's weird. Yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> That's not what plantain I mean, It's not bad. But there's definitely a hint of fish, <laughs> like flavoring in this. <laughs> if we, get, if we grab the right one, yeah. This is this. But, I don't know. Oh. I think maybe they were just a little extra green when they made the chips. Oh, babe. And that's what this is, that taste I'm getting. I mean, it's not like an overpowering flavor of fish, but there's definitely a little hint there. You can... But yeah, they're good. Oh right. yeah, like if you bit into that thinking you're gonna get like the Caribbean style plantain that's super sweet, and then got that, you'd be mad. Normally they taste like potato chips. Only plantains I've ever had are crispy ones, like this, and then that one you try to give me at the Chinese place. I don't, I don't like that. Thing. I don't like that one. Oh, you can take them. But I like these because I like plantains that when they're dried and flat like that because, like I said, they're a very good substitute and a healthier substitute than a potato chip. And they taste pretty similar. I like food. And they crisp. I like them. Pretty good. Maybe if we dipped them in salsa? Yeah. That might help. Based on Columbia's most favorite side dish, sweet plantain chips. Okay, these are going to be sweet. Oh, it's sweet and sour. I get it. What do you get when you deep fry an extra ripe plantain? See, I told you those were the green ones that won't ripe, and these are the uh, super ripe, the black ones. Oh, okay. That's what happened. And all I said was, I ain't never had a plantain like that. It's I'll always get them from the crispy chips. I'll take plantains and then I'll cook with them. Like the baked plantains mm -hmm. I made for Christmas. Last well, yum, come on. Colombian's most popular side dish. Tejadas are basically the Colombian's equivalent to french fries. Yes, that's a word I can't pronounce. The super popular snack version is a bit thinner and crispier than the toasted tejadas you'd find in Colombian restaurants. But they've got all the addictive salty sweet oh, sweetness than the real thing. Plus they're the perfect appetizer for a chef inspired snack that you'll find on the next page. Next page. This is the last yum. Well, there's... The nutritional nutrition. facts. There's nothing on the next page. Okay, they're lying. Well, it's supposed to be a recipe. <sighs> okay, what the hell? All right, so we got... Wood chips. Why are you leaving me this? It's slime and milk. Gotcha. All right, so this is what it looks like. Like wood chips. Mm-hmm. Good though. I see. Sweet. I prefer crunchy, salty potato chips though. But these are pretty good. They look cool. 
They taste burnt. They have a burnt little aftertaste to them. Well, they're not bad. Yeah. This is exactly what it says. Hmm. I more. Uh, all right. So, hmm. I like them. My favorite yum. Oh. Boom. Mm. All day. Mm. These things are good. Alright, what's your least favorite? No flavor. No. Didn't like those at all. Hmm. Alright, I agree with you on that one. This is our least favorite. Mm hmm. I would have ate the chewy chocolate before I ate this again. Like, I don't know what my favorite is. I'm just ready to finish my lollipop. I don't care, these man. These yeah, they were. So we agree. These are the best. These were the worst. And that is our Colombian yum box. So until next time, dog Aries and Latina, we Bye. out.